September 2011, within the partnership project LaserBeam, Unilever has launched a brief to conceive a charity campaign in favor of World Food Program and its project for school nutrition in Bangladesh and Indonesia. The brand Unilever is still not much recognized in Italy, even if their products have been in all Italian homes for the past 50 years. World Food Program also needs to increase their visibility in Italy, as opposed to other international agencies. Therefore, the campaign is also a very important communication goal. In reply to this brief, CMP proposed Pranzo in Pausa, a strong initiative made to have Italians give up their lunch breaks and donate them to the children in Bangladesh and Indonesia, even though times are hard. And moreover, to have people convinced to raise public awareness through a flash mob at the end of the campaign. The kind of campaign we thought about is a social action whose working instruments be one website, Facebook, Twitter, web advertising, YouTube, article marketing, spokespersons involvement, both celebrities and famous, a media partnership with Rai Radio 2, Benetton Basket Treviso and the portal Detto Fra Noi. From the online launch of the initiative to the flash mob, the heart of the campaign was focused in 13 days close to Christmas and therefore competing with tens of other charity initiatives. In this period of time, thanks to article marketing, we contacted 360 blogs, spreading up press releases and being published several times. Our buzz was acknowledged by newspapers such as Il Sole 24 Ore, ADN Cronos, Vanity Fair and Libero Quotidiano, increasing project awareness and the presence of positive articles on Unilever and World Food programs on the web. By involving celebrity spokespersons, we also generated a strong buzz. Many of them donated a video based on the same format. Others have spread the word on their social media. For example, Alessia Marcuzzi had 111 comments and 455 likes, with just one Facebook post. Also, Fiorello and Negramaro retweeted our message, thus generating 140 redirects on our website. Thanks to our media partnership with Rai Radio 2 and three of their most popular shows, the banner was on the website pages for more than a month. Speakers talked about Pranzo in Pausa on air, reaching an audience of 1.5 million of listeners for a value of 11,300 euros. On social media, we communicated with the users in many different ways. At first, to have them know us, then to push them to donate. We generated both good numbers and positive comments, in so much that Cloud, a special tool to measure influence online, gave us a very good score of 54 and identified us as specialists. On our YouTube channel reached 12,880 visualizations and four of our videos are still played by users. Advertising was massive and with an expense of 10,223 euros generated 27,140 visitors on the website. According to the website statistics, as many as 34,072 people visited pranzoimpausa.com and browsed through 152,335 pages with a medium stay of 80 seconds. 215 people have downloaded the pain slip and 980 clicked on the donate button. The emotional peak of the initiative occurred on December 22nd in Piazza Colla di Rienzo in Rome. The live flash mob streaming on the website generated high impact news and images which translated into internet buzz. Finally, we were very proud of such experience and of some of the results we gained. Whoever came into contact with Pranzo in Pausa was very struck by such a meaningful and unusual initiative. Her work had visibility, a high rate of advocacy, increased project awareness in just 13 days and offered good visibility and a positive feeling towards Unilever and World Food Program. Moreover, it generated as many as 50,000 users on the whole.